so, um, I'm gonna apologize for being so close to the screen. Um, the way I'm sitting, I have to block out the lamp, otherwise you won't be able to see anything except for a really bright light. Um, this morning, um, I woke up, um, in pain, um, in my right shoulder and in my ribs. Um, the feeling I get whenever I'm having one of my contraction episodes in my ribs. This is the first time that I can think of that I've been woken up um, to have an episode. I've always been awake when ones come on. Um, this is also the first time that I've been completely alone during one. The only other time that I was alone during one um, was the time that Saturday that I went to the hospital. Um, the first one, uh, I was about 10 or 15 minutes into it, but it hadn't started to get too bad. Um, and Andrew was at the store and he had come home um, while I was in the middle of the episode. And then he was able to get the medication and everything for me. Um, this one, I woke up and I had that pain. And I knew it was coming. And there wasn't a damn thing I could do about it. And I reached over towards the floor for my phone and looked at the clock. Because I knew between 4.30 and 5 o'clock, Andrew would be walking through the door. It was like 3.49. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I was a little panicked. Um, I was trying to stay calm. I was trying to massage my ribs. I was trying to stay, stay still. I was trying to, was trying everything. I was trying to breathe. Um, but it was really scary. Um, I started thinking, um, you know, I could call my grandma. Um, she's the closest person to me. But by the time she gets up and gets ready, Andrew will be here. Um, by the time she gets here. Um, I can't call an ambulance because they'd have to break down a door and, um, fight off Sophie. So... Um, yeah, that, that option was out, because I couldn't put the dog up, but I couldn't unlock the door for them. Um, so, um, lately, my, um, my rib contraction episodes have been getting, um, more consistent in a in a pattern, I guess, um, of how they feel. Um, I don't know how else to word it. Um, they, um, it's like a sick, sour feeling in your bone and rib, uh, your bone and muscle. And, um, like venom going through you and you and you can feel it and um it's a consistent pain um but the um the uh contractions and um tightness of it comes in waves so I thought of everything I needed and where it was and, um, I kind of waited for the next wave, and then as soon as that was over, I got up as quick as I could, and when I did, my back muscles were so tight that I kind of, like, sprung back down, um, so I had to wait for the next wave, so this was 
another 10 minutes I had to wait and I'm screaming like I was afraid that, that the police were going to get called because I, I mean I'm screaming in pain um and um of course my dog's standing next to me trying to help me she's like what can I do and I'm like you can't really do anything because you don't have thumbs um, so after that next wave, I slowly get up because I realize I have to stretch my back out because my back muscles were like rubber bands. Um, and I hobbled over to my purse and got my meds out and I quickly hobbled into the kitchen and got me a drink because my cup and hair was like bone dry, of course. And, um, I took a flex roll on the clonazepam. And then as soon as I took it, I thought, oh my god, you're a dumbass. <laughs> um, while I was in the kitchen, I could have grabbed two spoons and crushed those two pills. And instead of waiting almost a half an hour for relief, I could have had relief in less than ten minutes. That's how scatterbrained I was and how much in pain I was I was not thinking I was just trying to hurry up and grab a drink so that I could take my meds um, I was scared that I wasn't gonna make it back to the couch um, I mean I was alone and I was gonna I knew that I was gonna be alone for at least another hour or so um, and I didn't have anybody else to call uh, my mom was dead asleep, and she's she was all the way out in Louisville. Um, yeah. Um, so it was um it was pretty scary. Um, I got to the point where um, I got myself in a position. It was a very uncomfortable position for the rest of my body, but it was um, a comfortable position for my ribs and back which at the moment they were the priority um, and um, so um, I'm sorry that I keep I'm not like smacking my lips my mouth is like dry and watery at the same time I don't know what's going on like it's really dry and I'm nauseous at the same time it's really hard to explain. Um, I'm just not feeling well today, off and on. Like, I've been out and about, but today's just not been a very good day. Um, so, yeah, after going to bed at like 2 o'clock, I wake up at four or three. See I went to bed no. Yeah, I probably went to bed about one thirty, two o'clock. No. Oh no no no. I was exhausted last night. I went to bed early last night. Yeah. I went to bed early last night. I went to bed, um so I ended up fiddling around, so I think I ended up going to bed around midnight last night, I think. Um around 11.30 or midnight, I think, and, uh, yeah, I think so, yeah, it was around midnight, and then I get woken up at 4, uh, a little bit before 4, um, so I've been up since then, because after that, I was like, there's, there's not really any point, I fell asleep for a few minutes, um, earlier, right before doctor's appointment. But I don't really repeat that counts. Um. So yeah, um, it was pretty scary. Um, that's the first one I've had where I was completely by myself. And um, we were kind of talking about it earlier, like that we need to have a plan for when that happens. Because um, we thought we did, 
um, you know, to have my meds by me and have a phone by me and everything. And that's all good and gravy, but, um, who am I going to call? And don't you dare say Ghostbusters. Um, because I can't call an ambulance. I don't want them knocking down my door and then my dog attacking them and then her running off. She's part husky. She'll run off and, I mean, she won't stop running until she's, like, Balls are bleeding. I mean, she won't stop. Um, yeah. Um, so I texted Andrew and I just said, muscle spasm episode. Thinking, you know, maybe if he can glance at his cell phone, you know, he could leave work a couple minutes early. Just the feeling of, you know, even though he can't really do anything for me, just the thought of somebody else being here with me. I don't know. Um, I've been sore all day. My voice and breathing has been affected off and on by it. Um, I mean, it, it went on for probably about 45 minutes. Um, it was, it was pretty rough. Um, it was all on my back. My back muscles are so tight and they're so tight now. Like, I have to watch when I bend, even just bending my head forward like this. Right now. I can feel it stretching all the way to my butt. That's how tight my back muscles are right now. Uh, um, and I'm sitting, I'm sitting on a couch right now. Like, I'm just sitting here, relaxed, leaning up against some pillows. Like, I'm not sitting awkwardly or anything. Like, I'm sitting back, relaxed. Um, so, yeah. Um, I tried to get out a little bit today. Um, I got to spend a little time with my son, which was nice. Um, I made it to a doctor's appointment, um, the, um, the spine specialist. However, it was in Louisville, and with traffic and trying to find the damn place, getting there, getting in there, we were half an hour late. So even though I've had to reschedule six freaking times, they had to reschedule me, which is fine. I mean, they're not going to tell me anything that I don't already know. So, yeah. Um, I'm just uh, really scared of having another episode. Because um, all day my, my ribs have been sore, and it keeps making me think that I'm going to have an episode, like, it feels like an episode coming because they're sore. And for a second, my heart kind of drops. <laughs> um, but then I realize it's just, I'm sore. So, um, uh, I'm just really scared of having another one. Um, I'm going to see my, um, my, um, therapist, um, told me how to, um, told me the psychiatrist to, um, talk to you about upping my anxiety medication, and I'm hoping to get on Ativan as well, and that will help with the muscle, um, spasms, uh, episodes when I do have them. Um, so, I'm really hoping that, um, that works out. Um, because then whenever I have a spasm episode, I can just take an Ativan and it'll stop. <laughs> um, and then I can just worry about the pain later. Um, because obviously the pain management's not going to do anything. 
Um, I called the Evergreen Center and told them all about what the Pain Management Center had to say about them. I relayed their nice little message. Um, and um, they were willing to work with me and um, on a few questions that I had for them. And uh, they're finding some information out for me right now. Um, so, yeah, I just um, wanted to make a note um, that I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty scared shitless right now. Um, Andrew just left for work, and I'm home alone again. <laughs> um, with my ultra helpful dog that has no thumbs. <laughs> um, but I'm making sure to have my drink and my meds right here um, within reach <laughs> tonight. Um, and I'm not going to drink all of my drink. I'm going to leave at least enough to take meds with just in case. So, yeah. Hopefully no more episodes um, for a while. Um, this time, though, however, um, uh I've had a little leg discomfort, because, um, after my, um, rib episodes, normally my legs get worse. Um, the past few episodes, they've hurt a little more, um, but the use of them has not really been much worse. Um... If it has, it's very, very, very temporary um, to almost to not even be notable um, compared to the usual. So, um, as I was having this episode, I was trying to feel where it was coming from, where it was originating from, and, and what the pain felt like so I could describe it. And there's just... There's just no words to describe it. There's no way to describe its origin. It's just... I don't even know. Um, I'm going to quit rambling on and go to bed because I'm <laughs> completely wore out. Oh, yeah, we when we came back, um, we, uh, when we came back, from our little outing, I call it an outing, um, going to the grocery store and picking up a few items is an outing, um, when we came back, the dog had gotten into the trash, um, which was very bad of her, and so she went to her crate, and she peed in her crate, because she was in trouble, and she knew she was in trouble, well, then the dumb butt decides to roll in her own pee, so that bath I've been telling her she's going to get, she got it today. So about two hours before my appointment, I'm already feeling drained because we were out in the hot sun and I'd already been up on like two, on like four hours of sleep and my muscles are already like, no, go back to bed, what are you doing? And we're outside hosing the dog down. <laughs> I was not about to fight with her in that tub. <laughs> we hosed her down. <laughs> and she did not like it one little bit, but now she's nice and fluffy. So, um, yeah, that was another thing. And now I'm just, I'm just so wore out. Um, it's amazing the little things that, um, some people do, um, daily that just wear me out, and I'm like, I see people doing these things, and I'm like, I used, to, not only do I want to be able to do those things, but I used to be able to do those things, and just not think about it, like, just do it, and not think about it, and now, like, I have to plan it out, I don't know, I'll quit rambling. Sorry.